Hello everyone, this is Dr. Massey Stokes and I have a brief presentation about Health Studies 6443 Foundations of Health Science. As you may already know, HS 6443 is one of the required core courses within the Health Studies program. The focus of this course is the examination and application of health behavior and health education theory to health education promotion practice. So I really want to emphasize that although we cover many different theories and models in this course, it is really important for you to consider how you might apply these theoretical foundations to the practice settings. The textbook used in the course is widely recognized as a seminal reference in the field of health education and health promotion. Many of you may be familiar with this text. It is edited by Glanz et al. And the name of the text is Health Behavior and Health Education Theory, Research, and Practice. I strongly recommend that students keep this text because it is a very useful reference that will come in handy for other health studies courses, the doctoral comprehensive exams, theses, and dissertations. There are five major parts of the text and I just want to briefly run through these parts. Part one deals with health education and health behavior, the foundations. And in this section, the editors just set the stage, if you will, for how theory undergirds research and practice and how all three are really related in a very dynamic fashion. Part two begins the study of particular theories and models and these are models of individual health behavior and some of you may already be familiar with some of the theoretical foundations featured in this section. A couple of examples are the health belief model and the trans theoretical model or stage or excuse me that includes stages of change in part 3 the focus is on models of interpersonal health behavior some examples in this section are social cognitive theory social networks and social support and then one chapter that I believe those of you who are coming to health studies from some of the allied health professions will find interesting, and that is a chapter on clinician-patient communication. And there's a teeny tiny section about health literacy in this chapter, and health literacy is one of my major areas of interest and really deserves more emphasis than it's given in the text so I do supply extra information in the blackboard shell regarding the very important topic of health literacy. Part 4 involves community and group models of health behavior change. Perhaps some of you are familiar with diffusion of innovations and that's a really important theoretical foundation that's featured in this section. Part 5 involves using theory in research and practice. So this is a really strong application section that features the precede proceed model, social marketing, and ecological models. And I'd like to mention that after every chapter that covers a theory or model, there are usually at least two case studies featured that allow the reader to see how the theoretical foundations are actually integrated into practice. I'd like to take a few moments to discuss 
the HS 6443 final project. With this project, students work in groups of two to four to collaboratively write a manuscript that is suitable for submission to a peer-reviewed journal in the field of health education or health promotion. The journal can be in a related field as well, but the health education, health promotion piece would still need to be integral. Some examples would be, for instance, a teaching technique, and that type of article is featured in the Journal of School Health, for example. It could be a position paper or a commentary, but some type of article that is not based on a research study, but still warranting publication as a scholarly work. I really believe that this final project holds a lot of significance for students because all graduate students need to be very effective and clear writers. This project allows you the experience to improve your writing and particularly your writing to a scholarly audience and this is a very important skill to possess particularly for those writing theses or dissertations. It's also very important to students who may be interested in entering the field of academia. Students who have a very well written manuscript can make the decision to actually submit it for publication, but that is not a course requirement. I think it is important for me to emphasize that Health Studies does encourage graduate students particularly at the doctoral level, to publish. And as I mentioned earlier, this is even more relevant for those of you who plan careers in academia because the publications will make you much more marketable. Another aspect of HS 6443 is the library workshop module. Elaine Cox, who is a TWU reference librarian, has worked with me for the past several semesters in conducting a library workshop, and she really adds a dynamic element to the class via this workshop module. She is very engaging, and she's highly knowledgeable. When you take this workshop with her, you will acquire knowledge and skills for conducting quality literature searches. And the ability to effectively conduct liter literature searches is vital to your student's success in this class as well as other courses and in writing theses and dissertations. To summarize, HS 6443 is a foundational course that focuses on the analysis and application of health behavior, health education theories to health education and health promotion practice. Students will be able to apply the knowledge and skills gained in this class to related coursework and relevant practice settings. Thank you very much for your time.